Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through my books. As you can tell, we're standing in front of my bookshelves. They are a bit overwhelming. I, in this room alone, I have this bookshelf. I have books on my chest of drawers. I've got a book cart, which is right here. And then behind you, I've got another bookcase. So I just thought I would go through all my books. It is currently October, mid-October. And I just keep looking at my books and I keep getting overwhelmed. And I keep buying more books. And I have so many that I need to read that I've decided I'm just going to go through all my books. And books I haven't read in months or years that I don't fancy reading. They're getting gone. I have way too many on my shelves to be like, I'm going to keep you because I may read you. I'm going to do a purge. This is a purging day. I've decided it's a random Wednesday. I'm on my day off and I've just decided I'm going to do it. I am in my PJs, so bear that in mind. You will be seeing PJs because I just thought this is going to be a chill, comfortable, casual video. Not too fancy about it. I currently have books in this room, downstairs, in the living room. I won't be showing you that though because my dad is currently watching Criminal Minds downstairs. I'm like halfway through the seasons or the, the TV show. He's like right at the beginning. So I won't be disrupting him. He needs to watch it because it's amazing. And then I have some more books in my old room. And that is where are all my books that I kind of want to keep. But I don't need visible are there. Including like all my Harry Potters and all of that jazz. So we'll also be going through there. I may not show it though. But anyway, majority of my books are all in my room though. I think that's why they're overwhelming me. Because I see them all the time. And my room is not the biggest room in the world. I've decided I'm purging. I'm getting rid of books. And I'm kind of scared. Because there's books in here that I don't want. That I'm like, do I need? No. Do I want to get rid of? Maybe. It's a bit of a scary time to be alive. We're going to get on with it. And we're going to see where this goes. I think the most overwhelming one is my TBR car. I think that's the most overwhelming one because I have books like everywhere that I kind of have read and haven't read. So let's just get straight into it. Let's just go. We're starting with the, well, up here is not rainbow, but from down here onwards is a rainbow. So we're going to start here. This is what I mean by a total love room. I'm literally against my door just to be able to show you this. Up here, I've got my Avocamba series and the Anne Kennedy books. They're getting gone. I know. Decided. These are gonna get gone. These ones, the new covers have come out and as much as I really did enjoy these, I have found a lot better sports romance books. And yes, these what got me into them, but do I need them on my shelves? No, because if I wanna reread them, they're on Kindle or I can just ask one of my mates who owns them. And then I'm getting rid of the Graham effect because I really did not like the second one. As much as I gave this five stars in the time of reading it, looking back now, I don't think it was. I think it was just a momental moment thing. Like these books were all like three stars and under and my goal for this year was any books that were three stars and under, they getting gone they're not staying on my bookshelf these are getting gone i'm saying goodbye it's been a moment it has been three years but it is time by the shelves so i've got all my silver books here and my love redesigned i didn't really enjoy this book i have a whole reading vlog of it and i didn't really enjoy it but i still have to read the second one and i haven't read this yet but i have a feeling i'm really going to enjoy it but then i really didn't enjoy this one and i did annotate it i think i may keep it just so they're together but once i read this one if i didn't enjoy this one they're both getting gone i think that's what i'm going to do it's really hard what you do with books that you've annotated i don't know what do you do with these books because if you've annotated them you can't really give them to anyone we're now on to as you can see the rainbow shelf is coming through butch and blackbird keeping i've had this for years i don't think i'm gonna read it i literally made my friend buy it so we can read it together but i don't think i'm gonna read it going going and gone if you want to change my mind for comment basically any books that you think i'm getting rid of i won't be getting rid of them straight away so if there's any books you're like oh you should actually read them let me know x's and o's i've very kindly got sent this and i really should read it i want to give away but it's been in my shelf for so long i didn't really enjoy the first one but i wanted to give this one a go because it's romance reader and a fireman i need to put this higher up my tbr that's what i need to do on that one this is on my fall tbr if i don't read it this form it's getting gone that's what i've decided let's go somebody very kindly gifted me this and when it's somebody's gifted me i have a very inclined not to get rid of it but it needs to go higher for my tbr also that flop is beautiful i have read one of her books and i actually quite enjoyed it so i think i need to put this higher for my tbr she's gone if you've read the book my book talk friends choose what i read you know i absolutely despise this book and i hate every second of it and i really want to see an effort but i annotated it but i have one friend who I know wants to read this and I said I'll give it to him. So Lonnie, it's coming for you. Ignore all my annotations. But very excited to hear what you think of it. But I hated it. <laughs> See, this I'm a bit like, oh, do I keep doing not? I have read it. Kai gave it to me for my birthday. And I loved it. I absolutely adored it. But I'm like, do I need to keep it? Because I did love it. So I very kindly got sent me this from W.H. Smith, but 
I don't think I'm gonna read it. I got sent me this years ago and I never read it and it's a hardback and it's a Sylvie Day and apparently it's really good. I might just get it from the library but I don't think I'm gonna, if I wanna read it. There's literally dust on it, that's disgusting. That's getting gone, I can't read hardback and it's a romance on a hardback, no thank you. I literally have loads of LJ Shen books. I read this and I read it on my Kindle and I have read Fisher and this is literally somebody's signed edition. I think I might sell these together but I don't need to keep them so they're getting gone. And ruthless the thing is the last lj shen book i've read i've not really enjoyed i think i'm gonna keep it and then if i have an inkling to read it then i'll pick it up again if you want to know what these bookcases actually are the cd cases because my room's small not big enough to have billy cases so i have cd cases from ikea that i then make into bookcases if you wanted to know now onto this one this is my pile of books that i'm selling anyway that i may need to redo because i've got all these tokyo revengers and they're not selling so i think i need to sell them individually these are all my sophie lark books i've been thinking about do i sell them do i not and i don't know i think i'm gonna keep them i kind of love them books though. all of my um emily architire all signed apart from cross they're keeping they're staying staying and they're staying I'm a bit umming and ahhing because I got rid of my Scarlet St. Clair books because I didn't actually enjoy them. But I have a Waterstones exclusive edition that I've never taken a sticker off of this one with like, this is actually not, this is normally a blue cover, but I have the green one and I kind of love it because green's my favourite colour and I really want to keep it because of that. And then we've got the first one and they're vampire ones. And I'm kind of in my vampire and somebody read them saying they're not good books, but they're also great books, if you know what I mean. So I think I might keep them. I mean, I've had them on my shelf for years and actually just get to them. How beautiful is this one? But like this one is my favourite book I think I ever got. And it's because it's both green. Now this is where I'm like, ooh, because I got sent these two and this one I have kept. So this one I got, it's Jennifer Hartman Still Beating and it's a dark romance. And everyone says this is a great book. And I'm like, do, I do want to keep it and I don't want to read it, but I'm not in my dark romance era right now. And I haven't read dark romance since oh, February, beginning of this year, because things have been triggering me a lot more recently when it comes to dark romance. So I'm a bit scared. I think I'm gonna keep it. Convince me to keep it. If you guys say it's really, really good, I will keep it. If not, and you're saying mm, it's all right, I'll get rid. But I'm a bit scared. Dark romance is kind of terrifying me, but. And then we got The Girl with the Stars in Her Eyes. I can't pronounce the author's name. I'm really sorry. We very kindly got sent this by Tandem because I was part of their scar. They had like four authors on, and she was one of the authors talking about their books. And I was part of the Zoom call, and it was fantastic, and it was amazing. And I got her book, and her book sounded amazing. Then I've not picked it up since. Like at the time, I was like, oh, I really need to read that. I'll add it back to my tbr mm, i don't know i think i need to just add it and keep it and see if i pick it up if i don't pick it up within the next like six months it's gone and then hate by tate james this is the first one i did start reading it and i dnf'd it because it wasn't my thing and then i was like after having that call i was like oh i should actually probably give this a go but it was a why it's a why choose bully romance and i don't know i wasn't enjoying it when i read it and then i just put it down and never picked it up again never thought about it until i got it they sent me i think i'm gonna get rid this can go to a better home with someone who's actually gonna appreciate this book so that is gone i've i've been up in an hour and over selling that book for months we're on to this i think stay with me i'm gonna get gone i got this for like four quid on vintage I got it because somebody liked it and I have not picked it up and I've been on my shelf for like two years so it's getting gone. I very kind of got gifted both of these so I'm gonna keep them but it's um, Dear Enemy and Make It Sweet. These are interconnected standalones and I really need to read these. Please convince me to read these. I am in the middle of doing a video where I'm like reading books that I've had on my TBR for absolutely ages and I've literally stopped because I got into a slump for the last I've been in a slump for a while with books and I've just been reading books that I want to read and a lot of books I want to read now are like new books that are coming out so I keep not reading the books that are on my shelves and I need to read books that are on my shelves. Does anyone else get this? You don't want to get rid of books that are on your shelves because you're like, what if that's a five star book? What if that is a five star book and you're just getting rid of it? Who knows? I also think my taste has changed so drastically within just this year alone that it's kind of scaring me. I'm going to keep these two because I got them gifted to me and I need to read them. I don't like the first one. I won't read the second one. But this one's like a hockey one. I don't know. This is an ex-hockey player. This one, I don't even know, but I'm keeping both of them. Simple Wild. Small Town Romance. I need to find out if this is on my Kindle and I'm getting rid of it, but if it's not on my Kindle, then I won't. Because I do pay for Kindle Unlimited every month. That's a tenner at my bank account every single month just for Kindle Unlimited. And then I have all these books and I'm like, tell me what you're doing. What are you doing? Anyway, I'm going to find out if this is on my Kindle. If it is, it's uh, going because I don't need a physical book. I also started this on audiobook and never finished it because it got rid of it. I think even back then I wasn't really enthused by it. I think I just bought it because I was in the middle of it. Let's see 
it fits on my kindle i also really badly need a new case i've had this case on it for about four years and it's disgusting no you can't get it on kindle unlimited how long have you been on my shelf though love? since i worked at waterstones which i finished in november and it's nearly a year it's getting gone because i've not thought about reading it so it is gone. Dare you to hate me, beg you to trust me. I'm keeping these because apparently they give t boys a tominum. I can't even say the name. Anyway, the Binding 13 series vibes, so I'm gonna keep them both. And also, they're not that bad. Not that it's going. I got this from Vintage, it's going. So it's the other one of this because Rankin Limited, the the nanny for the neighbour and faking it with benefits, they're gone. I can get, I can read these on my Kindle. Now we're onto the difficult part. As you can tell, all of these, all the way down here, are all of my Penelope Douglas ones. I've got Penelope Douglas literally all the way across here. And now I've got these beautiful editions of birthday girl and credence but then i also have the indie ones do i need both probably not am i gonna keep both absolutely because i love penelope douglas literally all of my penelope douglas ones are keeping i've even got like multiple copies i freaking love this author so much but i've not read her in about a year we're now on to this shelf i don't know if i can show you any other way other than like this because i don't have room to actually put you anywhere so this is the angle we're gonna do this is my fantasy books these need to go downstairs because these belong downstairs all my fantasy books are downstairs because i don't have that many and when i do i like having them downstairs my darkest desire this is staying because i've just bought this all of these books here are staying because these are all brand new i just need to find a place to put them somewhere now i have room on my shelves i can obviously the beautiful edition of the pumpkin inspired cafe she's staying because she's stunning i actually should be able to now show her oh do you like my little danny rick clip and my, my whale all of these books are staying here because these are all blockchart and Mindigo Ridge. I don't think Mindigo Ridge will fit over there. That'll be an experiment to do. We'll see if they actually fit over there. And then I'm gonna get rid of Marion Espata, The Wall of Winning Pig and Me, because I got two editions. My friend bought me one and I bought myself one because I didn't realize she bought me it and i had the two different colors i've sold the other one and forgot i had this one on my shelf and i didn't enjoy the book enough to keep another edition it matches all roads lead here but i really like this book i didn't like this one so it's getting gone unsteady i didn't enjoy it enough to keep it but it is annotated but yeah i just didn't enjoy it enough to keep it so i'll see if anyone wants it but yeah this is getting gone it is like binding 13 vibes with an ice hockey player and a skater Thinner. it's a really good book but not for me i think i might give this to lonnie i think lonnie will really enjoy this i'm keeping all of my blair you ones because i'm not finished a series the moment i finish a series i'm going to sell them but i've not finished them yet so i'm keeping all of these i've got these on tiktok like 20 quid or like something like that you can get these in the works for 15 with the new covers though i'm getting rid of these two i've got this one second hand it's been on my shelf for a while and i'm not wanting to read it and that's the beautiful bass about christina lover lauren billionaire romance ain't for me anymore and this one is glitterland i got this for three quid i've not wanted to pick it up since buying it so these two are getting gone I'm saying goodbye i'm being really good the amount of books that i've heard is impressive and i need to somehow put these books back on here because they were like holding together because i've got this gap here and those books holding them there we're now onto the hard bit we're now on to the tbr car i've now sorted through all the they're all books i need to be put away somewhere that's not sorted and i have tons of room on here well not a lot but like some that is all my books i need to sort out all of that all of that that's ridiculous that is actually ridiculous it breaks i've kind of overwhelmed myself by doing this don't know why i do this myself i've actually really badly overwhelmed myself i'm now like looking at everything and i'm like i can't do this this is why i don't do this often this is why this is why i'm also supposed to be going out this is why i don't film things because this is what happens what i might do because i'm really overwhelmed right now and i'm really sorry i might just put all the books away and then come back to you once i've sorted them all out because this is too much for me to deal with right now hello i never actually finished this video so i'm finishing this video now it's a very gloomy day sorry the main light has to be on i live in the uk and it's turning into winter <laughs> very quickly so i just wanted to end this video here i got really overwhelmed that day by the amount of books you can see the pile here it is as tall as my book cart and i have two piles of them so i got really overwhelmed my plan is this weekend because i've not got all on because the weather's supposed to be now this is literally put all these books on vintage and edit these videos so i will be doing that so be looking out on my vintage i was going to do a whole video where i decluttered showed you all the books and then redid the shelves but honestly i don't have enough books to redo the shelves uh because i have that many unread books that i kind of need to sort things around 
around, work out what I'm doing. So, and I haven't decided yet what the plan is. I've kind of put some away, but not all of them. And I kind of like the fact that my TBR cart has all of my books on it because I kind of just rumble through that rather than looking at my shelf. But I need a new system. I need a better system, honestly. That'll be a different video altogether where I actually resort out all the books in my room because the books downstairs and in my spare room, they're sorted, they're done. They're all right. It's my room that's a tip when it comes to books and unorganized. And I really do need to like sort out my good reads and all of that. So that'd be a completely separate video. We did complete today's video. I unpiled two massive piles of books. I was so ruthless. I just went, nope, nope, you'll see in the video. You've probably seen already. You have seen already. I was ruthless. There is a point where the camera switched off where my phone went, you've got to 21 minutes. I ain't filming for much longer and just stopped. And so at that point, I think I just kind of did the last bit and I was going to show you, but I haven't. So sorry about that. But this is me ending it now. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit chaotic, but you got to see some of my books. Honestly, this shelf here, this is, this is my favourite shelf of all time. This is my sports romance shelf. This is my favorite shelf, but you'll be seeing it better when I do my video of showing you all my shelves and everything. So be looking out for that. That'll be coming in the next few weeks. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts and feelings. If there's any books in this pile that you think I should read, do let me know. My vintage is linked down below for you guys as well if you want to get any of these books. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video, which is on Sunday, 4 p.m. UK time.